Mar, Mar, de ces gens-là qui viennent piller notre côte là. This video was filmed by a fisherman in French Guiana, that is a French territory in Latin America, just north of Brazil. Now he regularly goes on Facebook to denounce overfishing, practiced by wooden boats known as tapui. Boats from the nearby Republic of Guyana, Suriname and Brazil have been crossing into the waters of French Guiana for years, taking advantage of strict European rules that have helped keep fish stocks plentiful. The fisherman says it's worse than ever. Je, je publie euh, ces, ces vidéos sur euh, alerter les, les autorités euh, du pillage euh, aléotique sur euh, le territoire français. À chaque fois que je fais une sortie, je rencontre une vingtaine de, de tapouilles à chaque fois. Le record que j'ai pu compter était de 43 tapouilles en une journée. Si euh, ils continuent euh, à pêcher comme ça, je pense que d'ici euh, deux ans, on n'aura plus rien. Depuis bon matin, 6 heures. Là, à 23e tapouille. The choicest fish is a type of croaker known locally as red acupa, highly prized for its flotation bladder, which can be worth more than a thousand euros a kilo in China, where it's believed to have medicinal properties. The foreign boats often fish at night and hide out during the day deep in the mangroves, for instance. That's what you can see in this video posted on TikTok by a fisherman based in Suriname. The foreign boats use nets that are longer than those used by the French Guianese, with mesh that is tighter. Eux, ils, vont, ils viennent avec euh, des maillons qui sont tout petits. C'est-à-dire que tout ce qu'ils fassent, tous les poissons qui font moins de 30 cm, ils ramassent tout. Ça détruit euh, la ressource. Vous qui avez déployé des kilomètres filets, frère. Là, on voit une torsure qui est morte, coincée euh, dans les filets euh, des tapous qui viennent du Suriname ou du Guyana. C'est la conséquence des longs, longs filets. Leatherback sea turtles come to beaches in French Guiana to lay their eggs, but their numbers have fallen by 95% in the last 20 years. The World Wildlife Fund regularly conducts surveillance flights over the region to track marine life. Last year's flight detected no sea turtles and no dolphins. Cette pêche illégale elle est la conséquence directe d'un phénomène de surpêche dans les eaux des pays voisins qui s'est déplacé au sein des eaux françaises de Guyane au cours des dernières années. We contacted fishermen's groups in the Republic of Guyana and in Suriname. The Guyanese said most of the boats came from Suriname. The Surinamese denied that, saying the French Guyana was too long a trip for their boats to make. For one, the reason is that it's too far away. The, the amount of time it would take you like for drive about four days to go to French Guyana to fish. It would be too costly. Now, the idea about fishing in French Guyana, the French, they, they are very strict about exploiting their resources. So those areas always have a lot of fish. The fishermen in French Guyana say there should be more patrols in their waters to detect foreign boats and stronger penalties to make sure they don't come back.